Welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. My name is Nilaus and we are continuing on our war against the hives in our cluster. We need to get rid of Hive Alpha this episode. So that is our major objectives. We're starting pretty much where we left off in the previous episode. And uh, what we do have is uh, we have problems with power as usual, right? Uh, we don't have enough power even with discharging here on our home world. So we are going to utilize some of the power we have in here. Yes, we are over requesting it by a lot, but you know, well, if we are over requesting it a little bit, we might as well over request it a lot. So I'm going to put circle number two in here. Really? Really, really? Is that? God damn it. As I was saying, we stamp this one down here and look at that. In first try, we get it and let's see, we are going to get up here. We are also going to request some of these, which probably don't have enough of this, but we'll still send them out and request it and they will be going in here. And that's probably because they're just being sent everywhere else. So this will get us a little bit more power here. It's not going to be a lot. It's just going to be overstraining everything. But eventually this will uh, help alleviate the power by a significant margin. And we can always just set out another row out here on top. And uh, let me just have a look at where is the production of those eggs. They are produced. Hmm. Where's the hub? Someone lost my hub. There, that one. How are you doing? Eh, a little bit. Get those in just those few ones in here good so i get a little bit of those out and right so once this one is made then we know we have a little bit better power it's not a lot but it's it's going to get better and especially if we can get some of these uh, in here these uh, shards here let's just go like that it's a little bit cheeky to have this one prioritized over the other ones oh right that was weird that was not what I wanted. I wanted to do like this to prioritize it. Good, so this one comes in first. But you can see we got a little bit of the magical halo and the sparkles here. So we can see more easily that they are actually affected by this. Uh, obviously, the issue is now that we are requesting even more than we can provide. But still, it's providing 1.7 gigawatt of power and they're stealing 254. We do not like this. What we do like is... Oh, uh, not that one. Uh, that is... Uh, just go back in here. Right, what we do like is getting 10 of these okay so we're, we're slowly starting to get more of these vertical launch silos i've started building them and uh, we're just getting them in here oh they're actually a lot more there here and there so we want to get 20 of those uh, 30 of those when we have 30 of those then we can uh, we can go out so this part though i'm gonna get um, i'm gonna get like 600 of these yes that's a kind of an absurd number and oh no um here I want 400 there so that should get us uh, all that so let's uh, head back to the hub and uh, get those uh, inbound and once we have that inbound and also the 30 of this then we can head out and start poking poking the hives it is time for us to attack and uh, let's do a little pit stop over on the other base first so we can build get those <laughs> basically get those to stop complaining uh, here so the indicators and we need to get how closer to hive level one anyway so that's should be good and that is over on this side we want these to be built and go we're not going to use them but i'm just tired of looking at these being broken so let's get make sure that we get those oh they are humming in Coming sweet here. Let's see how much power they actually... Oh, they're getting like a ton of power. They're maxed out at 60 megawatts each. Uh, they, and they are just they're not really getting all of that 60, but that's okay. Now we want to get into orbit. And then let's talk a little bit about how to engage a fleet. The good news that wasn't there when I uh, tried it the first time, but it is now there now, is the fact that we can actually target these and we can warp to them if we feel so inclined. Um... I do think I don't want to do that, but I want to have this planet here as my, as my, oh shit, let's uh, have something to warp back to. So we're going to be warping out if we get in trouble. We are going to go in and aggro. I have my setup here. This is the best setup we can get at Green Science. It is, I'm not going to be activating any of my shots because they deal so pathetic damage that it's kind of irrelevant. Um, so that is uh, another thing. Don't use your own weapon uh, rely on them. And when we go into combat mode, there, 
Then we can deploy the fleet by predicting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then they deploy and we'll just bring them back. Uh, and that's a way for us to send them in. We have 1577 and uh, the objective of all of what we've done now until now is that we've starved these out so they can replenish for a little bit, but then they will run out of the stored uh, matter because they can't get more matter. And that means we'll sort of have a war of attrition. The other two hives will aggro and they'll send them to our home planet. Uh, ideas of March and at that point they will be uh, hopefully destroyed easily by the defenses there and now we also have a little bit of power on the defenses so I'm going to be aggroing here and then I'm going to send my fleet in as soon as we see yep they're aggroing let's uh, just deviate because we don't want to get into the static defenses yet and uh, there we go now we send them out and then we see all of this mess here so our ships are pretty good but we're losing a silly amount of them you can see every time you see something fly towards it little blue one then that's because we uh, actually have uh, like, and i get a little bit too close but you can also see here it still retains exactly what we want and we've now aggroed two other vessels and they're coming oh they're shooting a little bit at us i don't want that i want all of my power to go to maintaining the fleet and we are just dying. They're just dying super quick here. But it's totally worth it. You can see they're sending in. Um, maybe there are better ways of doing this. But this kind of works. Uh, we are simply just wearing them down here. Um, this is a war of attrition. They keep producing. We keep producing. And we know that they have a finite amount. We do not have a finite amount. Because we have access to everything we want. So we can keep, we can keep going at this for hopefully a little longer. And uh, yeah, let's see. Where are the hives, the sh fleet coming in? These two here, they're all... Oh, are they going for Guy in the Cube? No, 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 no. They go past Guy in the Cube. They go... They're heading to Ideas of March, which is exactly where I want them to go. And the funny thing is, like, as long as they are in outbound, they are not... Uh, they're not actually... Oops, let's see. Uh, they're not actually... When the fleet is already out, then they're not really accumulating more threat. And um, we can go like this, and then we can try to sort of uh, disengage. I don't know if that works, actually. Oops, I'm going to be... That's a lot of shots. Uh, let's see. First, I need to go away. And then I'll do... Get them back here. That hopefully gets reclaims them. Hmm, maybe. All right, I'm going to enable them again. And then let's have a look at how many we have left. Not as many as we started with. Uh, we can also use that. Look at statistics. And uh, let's go here. Statistics. There's a combat statistics. Combat statistics. There. We can see over the last ten minutes we've lost 170 and 85, and they've lost 201. That's a bad deal for us. That is a really bad deal. We do not want to lose more, but uh, that's. Not really anything we can do about it right now. We have to get them out. And they still have 1,577. It's not good. Not good. Uh, we want you, aggro you. So, well, how close are we? We're at one at 0 0.5. So we should be... Oh, they are coming in. Is that the static defenses being attack, attacking us? I don't want that. I definitely don't want static defenses attacking us. So right now, they have way too many compared to us. So that's not good. So what we can do is we can go here and then I can go out and then I can warp away and we'll warp right into combat. Here, out of combat and look at the fleet is being destroyed. Oh, I'm being destroyed. Oh, warp away. Oh, that sucks. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine. Look at that. How many hit points? How many hit points do we have left? Uh, nine hit points. Just, you know, just... We know how strong we are. Oh, you know what? Uh, okay, that was cutting it a little bit too close. Here's the funny thing. This armor gives me extra hit points compared to the normal one. And that saved us. Yay! Okay, well, uh, all the raids are done. And Hive Alpha is... Uh, a threat again, but uh, we're, we should be good. Let's say you have the power here. Oh, it's barely there, barely there. We didn't take any damage, so the shield is holding up steady here. And uh, no problems on the shield. Good. We're not even getting much for the shield, but we are actually charging the planes. And here we have, which is also pretty cool. That's my fleet that's 
gigantic ships some, somehow we have in our pocket, but I don't ask. Don't ask. All right, so we'll uh, charge up and then charge back in. So far, we have made absolutely no progress because every one of these has still have exactly as much as they had before. So all we can uh, sort of rely on is that they have been uh, uh, depleting some of their internal storage of uh, of, uh, of matter. And uh, eventually, hopefully, they will be unable to replenish. So it's going to take a lot of attack runs for us to actually get uh, make a dent. But we'll uh, get started on the next attack run. And then in that time, we're going to be losing a lot of... Uh, of precious precious ships that's why it's so important that we have good production of it all right we're getting closer and i want to kind of run at at speed five uh, 500 because then i can maneuver quit pretty quickly and get away from them they fly around at speed 1000 so if but if it's please if i fly too fast then it's just getting impossible uh let's go up to the closest part of this and uh i want to see them there we go that's ours going out and there you go let's kind of have them break a bit away so we don't get hit by turrets as well there we go and now now we engage and i think i don't need to take a look at this and they're already assembling and i can't attack anything i don't like the fact that we are taking so much damage here so let me just try to fly away oh look at that look at the damage we're taking they are so fast Okay, good. So we got we got far enough away, and we'll just keep attacking. Um, we're still looking at if we look up here, that is the all the stuff that broke away. That's 1400, 1500. Oof, still a lot. And if we look at this, that's two hives worth. If you look at the dark fog units in my reticule here. Okay, I think that might be breaking, getting too far away. If we can take some of these fleets out here, that would be nice. Yeah, I, I'm not shooting. But it would be nice if I could. There. And that's a massive swarm here, so careful about that. That blob is too dangerous. And we don't want to get too close to the static defenses. Uh, they are attacking with 35 vessels each. That's good. Like we're we're taking a big clump. Oops. Uh, that's yeah, okay. Walk away. That's the defense we have. Is that if we get in trouble, we walk away, and that's uh, that means for now we have to just walk back, replenish, and go in for another attack run. And the attack on us on our planet is commencing, and also there's 35. Okay, so as long as these are shooting. They disappear pretty damn. Look at how quickly they go. Whoa. As long as they come in from this side, then it's easy. Uh, if they only come in from the missile side, the missile sides will still take care of it. But it'll take a little bit longer time. Maybe we should just have a ring of uh, of everywhere, everything everywhere. And we're healing at 8,000 hit points. So, yeah, the equivalent durability is pretty good. Nothing there. Good. Replenish and go back out. Good news, everyone. Look at that. We are approaching the Hive Alpha now, with and it now does not it is not able to fully replenish anymore. That is great. So let's uh, deviate a little bit here. We want to get closer so that they aggro, but not too close. How far are we? Uh, let me just lock it in here so we're in flight mode. We want to see them attack. There. Now they're coming in. And are they attacking? Yeah, they're attacking. All right, they're breaking off. Good. And then let's send off our ships in. Attack. Where are they? There they are. Come on. There we go. More attacks. More attacks. And at this point, if we look at this swarm here, then that number should only go down. No, 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 no. Don't you dare shoot at me. I mean, it's okay you shoot a little bit at me, but only a little bit. So how are we doing here? Now this is 1200 and this one we can, we want to stick around for as long as possible because now it just progressively gets easier. It doesn't get harder than it is right now. And we were up against 1500. Then there will still be some of them, like the humpbacks, they are base defense. So they're not actually going out and attacking us. The other ones are coming in with uh, attacks of 40. 
And we just don't want to go too close. It would be nice if we couldn't could stay a little bit away because we're damn we're losing a lot as long as we are ah we're getting too close to the static defense i feel okay they're shooting at us come on get over here yeah just i love that i love how they just form a little a, a school of fish like they're just flying around and we're the sharks just circling and just just getting a little bit here and a little bit there, and they're down to 1100, so we only actually took out 100. And uh, let's have a look at if we go out of this mode and into here. They lost 500. That's good in the last 10 minutes. And go back into the fighting mode, and they're coming in with 40 vessels each. And it's a combination of having... Whoops, that's a little bit tricky. Oh, I'm getting a little bit too close. And up, warp away. Okay, let's <laughs> look at the spray of everything here. All right, so that's unfortunately another round of uh, of just going back and replenishing. And we'll then absorb another attack inbound. Uh, every time, our main problem is do not run out of power. That's the most important thing. If you run out of power so you can't warp away, then you're dead and then just start over. Uh, so that's the plan here. A few of these so we can recharge again. Let's see here where we are on... Um, with the incoming and where are the incoming uh, they're coming in here actually I want to disable my fleet there disable fleet because I want my ships out here or my uh, static defenses to take care of it uh, where are the defenses they are are they not coming in here a little bit worried there they are okay missile turrets are engaging Lots of missiles. Oh, these are slow missiles. You can see how slow they are. And they're all dead. They just don't know it yet. And then let's see where the next one comes in. Next wave. Um, that's coming for out here. Please come out to the side that actually has, uh, has bullets for you. Um, five vessels remaining? That's probably these five. Okay, they're coming in now. Really wish we could get a better overview of what's going on with like watching space combat here. There we go, those are the last five humpbacks, they're dead. And then the next wave comes in. Please go up here so we can be shot at more properly. Ah, uh, they don't. Nope, okay, everyone's destroyed. They will be firing a little bit, a few shots, will they? Okay, and then the lasers, finally, the plasma cannons. Cool, we're ready to go out for the next run. So as we're approaching again for another attack run, we are seeing 1,060 units. So definitely decreasing. It started at 1,577. And every time we do an attack run, it gets easier. So at some point we'll just completely break them. Probably not this run, especially if I get hit. Uh, the previous run was also stopped when because I kind of messed up. So let's see if we can, like I had to break away and warp out. Um, there we go. And are they coming? Yeah, they're coming. Then let's try to fly away from him. Yep. And here they come. Let me fly away. Oh, no. No, I did not want to do that. Did not want to do that. I panicked. But maybe a good idea that I panicked, honestly. Because they are still shooting at me. Can you just stop shooting at me? I mean, a little bit of shots is okay, but not too much. All right, what do we have? Nine, we less than 1,000 units. Okay, now we're at a safe distance. We want to stay at this distance where... Where... We pull them away from the static defenses and we can out. This is actually how much there is. 800 attacking and then there's something returning. And they're now sending, the other hives are sending out attacks of 45. Good. Now it feels like we're actually just shooting them quite efficiently now. Oh yes. This might be the one that breaks. The attack wave that breaks the, uh, the dark fog. I have to keep my distance. I want to make sure that they go, they respawn and then they go in. But I don't want to be in uh, in close combat. Where are we at? Oh, that was two hives we were looking at since it was 2,000. The 800. Okay, we've killed 200 now. That's good. And we're at half hit point. Oh, 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 oh. Not good, not good. 
we flying through our uh yeah they're shooting at us uh anyone else shooting what the hell that's a lot of shots we might actually accidentally run into the the attack lane of the two other attacks from the alpha from the beta and gamma hive right 650 that's good that's a lot of uh, decrease here and how are we doing on our fleet well, we still have a fleet available uh we just it's mainly power that's going to be an issue yeah we are our power is decreasing but at this five minutes we're just swarming around and uh, as we get this uh, yeah we'll we'll need to switch configuration when we uh, when we clear out this cluster here let's see how much we got come on 500 yeah it's less than 500 now and uh, the good news about when it's less than 500 is that it's also uh, a lot of them like, like a, there's a hundred or something that are humpbacks that are base defense so i think that this is a good time for us to back off and yeah let's back up and warp away warp home like that oh mecha is too low energy no all right here we also we see the attacks coming in let's see how that works okay we see that the plasma cannons are shooting that's excellent we actually got a first row seat for this combat oh but they where are they attacking oh they're going back in there hmm. okay well maybe the ones in front you should take those out uh, it doesn't matter they are oh these are breaking formation are they coming for us i don't hope so missiles that's dangerous Let's go straight for the planet and seek refuge on the planet. There's eight in one hive and then 45 in the other one. And I love the space combat. It's so good. It's just so rewarding. Oh, I am on my planet. Great. Replenish power. Let's find somewhere that has uh, some power poles for us. Some free power poles. For free power poles, where are you? Uh, I have that one here. That mess. Right in there. Oh, yes. That's my cannon shooting. That is a joy. End of raid. Good. So the raid is uh, stopped. And we can also see here. This is decreasing because they are simply do not have the threat anymore. So even though it was over 80, it's now less than 80. And we're ready. Get ready for another round. We replenish and get ready for another round. So we're now attacking or approaching again. And we are 0.6 away from the hive. And if you look at all three of them, there's still... 3,500 but if we try to look only at this part here then it's actually 376 so as we do this there'll probably be like 100 a break 200 breakaway and then 170 that's going to be like static defense there we go and they're breaking away so let's drag them out and uh, start attacking down here come on attack 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 I don't want to be closest there we go they're shooting and we can't really rely on this number because it's a little bit much. Okay, I think they might be deciding to shoot us soon because we're close. But actually, look at that. We're uh, we can see that we can now. It's no longer just an amorphous swarm. Then it's uh, it's distinct units, and they are disappearing. Two hundred and fifty. And then they have the humpbacks back here. They are uh, the second, the next line of defense. All right, this is looking good. We'll be taking out all of the lancers now. Soon we have no lancers left. They might be shooting us at us a little bit. Don't mind that too much. Uh, I think we actually got all the lancers now. Great. So, let's see if we can attack these. These should be the next challenge. And there are, well, don't know how many. Okay, so they're breaking off to attack us. Oh, we're getting way too close. Come on, fly in. And fly away. This is a little more tricky. Because now we have static defenses in, on board here. Um, I want to kill the... F I want to try to focus on things that shoot. It's a little bit difficult. And I'm clicking and hoping that they'll actually get there. But I'm not really sure. So now we're actually attacking... The actual base. Which is good. Here. Uh, I really want to take these out. But the thing is once we oh uh there's more out here where did they come from 
Uh, oh, right, that was one of the attack fleets. Okay, they're actually coming to the rescue now. I can't, I don't think they're coming just by coincidence nearby. I think they're actually coming to the rescue. We want to kill this flock of units. Like 140 remaining, come on. Okay, they decide to go in for static defense. I don't want that. I want them to kill this part here. Ugh, they die so quickly. This is what we want to kill, these ones. Come on, kill them. And the reason why I want to take those, because then once they are dead, then we have full maneuverability. And they are slow. They are coming out, they are... Yeah, we're making good progress. Uh, what I don't like is uh, seeing all the static defenses wreck our units because they will absolutely destroy our units. Yeah, um, and they're not really good at shooting the right stuff. Let's have a look at if we go here. I think I can look at this and combat and... Okay, we can see we can see proton receiver, plasma generation, plasma fa face, laser tower. Yes, kill those, please. Humpbacks are getting destroyed now, uh, but also our attack is uh that we're dying a lot what the one vegetation All right sure 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 and let's go back in here so we can see and we're just we're just taking out this hundred unit left really want to take make sure that we kill those units first now they're just attacking um i wish i could this maybe i can do this and then try to find out where they're attacking from. Like that is an attack. It just wastes my power. But I, I feel that I can get them direct into attack by shooting. Okay, that's shoot something is shooting at me. That's not good. Still have a ton of the, uh, the ships left. And and my shots, they're not really doing anything. Uh okay, my uh, shields are kind of down. Oops. Okay, let's back away a little bit. I'm not sure I like shooting. I actually like not shooting because that just wastes power. Okay, how are we doing on this? Uh, we're, we're not doing great, to be perfectly honest, because the static defenses are absolutely wrecking us. So it is time for us to... I think we'll go... Nah, we still have a lot of power. So we'll, we'll continue this a little bit more. Come on, take those... Humpbacks, how many? 42 units remaining. It's the units that I really want to get rid of. Because once we only have static defense, then it gets a lot easier. Oops, something is shooting at us. Okay, 40, still? 30 units. Oh, right, okay. The attack force is coming in from the other... That's one of the other hives that are coming to the rescue, it seems. It can't just be a coincidence that they're coming out. Look at that, how clean they, we pick them up. 28 units, come on. We can do it. We can do this. There's more. They're just getting decimated. Good. Um, now it looks like mainly static defenses. Yeah, and st against static defenses, we actually have a different configuration we want to use. Uh, let's actually see if this is truly stat only static defenses or... 22 units. Now, it's still 22 units. I really want to take those out. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, look at the static defenses. They're destroying our destroyers. All right, cool. Uh, time for us to warp away and... What the hell is it? There, that one. Uh, there must be something closer. Another... Glum. Glum is closer. There, we'll go to you. Cool. Let's... Uh, Reconfigure and go back out. So we're now approaching again. And uh, before we get in, I want to reconfigure this to be oops, entirely here. And then just two of these, just because. So destroyers are great against units, uh, flyers, but corvettes are excellent against static defenses. They deal more damage. Um, and uh, because everything gets uh, annihilated when they get shot at, then destroyers are just getting killed way too fast against this. Let's have a look. You're saying 21 ships, you're saying 1577. They can still replenish. That's kind of annoying, but uh, we'll see. Uh, I'm way too fast. All right. Uh, there's also another thing. Someone has been saying that you want to attack it from retrograde. So from the direction that it has it's flown in from, but 
I don't know if that matters a lot. Uh, what I'd really like to do is actually being able to find stuff that uh, that shoots. And uh, oh, uh, something went in. Can you just send all of them in, please? There we go. Send all of them in. Just don't fly. Damn you. All of you. Can I also take that out? See, the destroyers are great at taking those out. But uh, when it comes to the actual ships here. Launching an attack, as expected. Now we're just taking stuff out here. And we're just shooting at mm, random stuff. Let's see what we're shooting at. Yeah, I don't know. Seed nodes, bridges, humpbacks. Yep, uh, lancers. Those are not really there anymore. But it's now bridges, seed nodes, and hopefully the face towers. Those are the ones we really want to kill. And if we look at our supply, they are dropping like flies. I have 800 with me. Uh, if we're looking at our, the hive, they are coming from up here. So they're probably going to intercept. They're now up to 60 in each attack run. That's good. And... We just need to carve this from one side. We can also just try to send them in towards the middle and go for the, the cluster here in the middle. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we have to kill everything before the hive actually disappears. So just, just doing this. Absolutely just whittling it down from one end. And then ideally when we see those shots come out, then figure out how to actually, uh, how to attack those locations. There's still 20 units within this range here. But yeah, look, we're, we're shooting. We're shooting. Stuff is working. And we want to carve our way in. If I'm going to be doing uh, like this. Uh, no, like this. Then I can actually look at it. So we've actually cut out some part of this. And it doesn't look like the other hives or the other f hives are coming to the rescue. So we can continue shooting here and it looks like our power is almost steady here with just this part and it just takes a little bit of time to go in there and you can see we get shut down once in a while for we lose one here and there actually quite a lot and it's also that just they they seem to just be shooting at random stuff and not sort of aggroing on stuff that attacks them let's try to go up from up then it might be easier for me to see what we're uh, shooting at we're sort of at the below and look at all the debris that's breaking off that's great so we're definitely doing stuff definitely making a, a dent and from here i need to lock it in oh so that's these ones are eclipse fortress they're called but we don't know what that is it just says eclipse fortress this one though this uh, uh this is the central core it's level 20 hp is increasing and uh I don't know, we can't really shoot at it yet. Maybe if we fly above. But if we fly above, we're also going to be attacked by all of the turrets at once. So if we carve out from one side, then let's carve out from this side. Then it should be uh, fewer turrets shooting at us. Because you can still see the turrets are shooting. And some of these things just take forever to kill. But other things break down pretty quickly. Like here's this is good. And that's a node. And we can go back and look again on what we are shooting down. Oh, Eclipse Fortress port. Humpback port. Eclipse Fortress is probably something that... Oh, it it's something that isn't implemented yet. Uh, because it says when if we can find an Eclipse Fortress, phew, it's impossible to find anything. Let's try to go from the top side. Oh, there we go. That's an Eclipse Fortress. Eclipse Fortress port. High production facility is used to construct Eclipse Fortress, the ultimate unit that strikes count countless fears into people's hearts uh, eclipse fortress port is huge making it a landmark of the dark fork hive eclipse fortress port consumes massive amount of oh stop killing me damn it huh. that's why you need a little bit of power okay uh okay that was a that was a little bit of a panic move but hey we saw it that's all that matters uh i'm gonna go back and uh, replenish our resources and then go for another attack run and perhaps the final assault is coming in here. And uh, let's just have a look at this. 18 units. And if you look at these, they are still replenishing entirely. That's a little bit sad that they're still completely replenishing. Uh, let's look at this one uh, here. And then look at it. Okay, we're coming in from the right side. So I've also now switched entirely to this. So let's go attack the hive cluster in the middle. The uh, central core. That's what we want. 
attack. Why are we not attacking? Come on, attack, 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 attack. That one, attack it. Well, they are attacking something. Well, they're attacking something. That's that's good enough for me. Eventually, they'll attack this. I'll just speed, slow down, and just keep here. Okay, they're attacking with sixty-five vessels each. That's fine. Uh, what if I go and activate this one? Does it take damage? Yeah, it does take a little bit of damage. Kind of hoping that they would attack that one as well, but they don't. Not just yet, at least. Let me go up here and get some... Some kind of uh, perspective on this. Okay, we're definitely just wrecking everything right now. We just need to make sure that they are not coming in. They're, they're not intercepting us. They're going straight for the home base, which can amply protect itself. No problems. And look at that. It's actually... Oh, look at that. It's taking damage now. It's taking damage. Oops. Will help shooting. There's still... Oh, core destroyed. We got it. We got it. I was just looking up in the top right-hand corner. It says core destroyed. What? And then I looked back and it was gone. So it worked. Uh, so at this point, it isn't done yet. Because if there are relay stations on planets, those can come back and actually reform the core. But there are not. So this one cannot replenish itself, which is good. Uh, what that means is that it is, for all intents and purposes, dead. So we're going to use this for just triggering more attacks by uh, by simply going back here and attacking this. If we attack this uh, location, then we trigger the other ones to aggro and hopefully soon they'll be start to to be unable to replenish all of the resources. That is certainly the idea at least. This is actually using quite a lot of power uh, maintaining a fleet like this. So I guess these are a little more, little too intense. Those, uh, those, this fleet here, or maybe it's because oh no, we do have uh, more fuel. Here. We do have fuel, so no problem. Oh, maybe it was because it was only double proliferated that we actually, and not triple proliferated. Okay, but this hive uh, is, I mean, it's obviously dead. But uh, the question is whether we can take it out by just. By just roaming here because... Nope, it's not. Because we're not actually deploying anything. Look how little is being deployed. And that's probably not safe in any way. Alright, unfortunately that means... Oops, I need to uh, go replenish. Uh, too low. Okay, I will replenish yet again. Uh, not resources, but just... Ah, Glum is closer. Let's go there. And we're commencing the final attack run on our... This thing. There we go. We'll engage all of this. And send them in. Send them in. Go, 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 go. And uh, what we want to do is actually just get, get them to trigger the attacks from the other ones. So we'll get another attack coming in here. And now we'll just park back basically right here. And they will be... They're not dead, are they? No, they didn't die. Okay. If we could just find something, there's something up here that actually shoots. If we could trigger that, that would be nice. And there's something else that shoots up here. That's also something that shoots. Now, they don't think they see anything else that shoots. So now they just have free reign just to have fun. And then we go 70 from each of the other ones. If we have a look at the other hives, hmm, where are they? I have no idea where they are. Huh. How did the hives just disappear? Okay, well, let's do it this way. Okay, there we go. So they have 3,100. It's definitely not the 3,500 they had. Oh, 3,100 is still 1,500 each. Damn. Damn, they're still they're still keeping up. All right. Well, um, that's that's weird. But we need to grind it out and just uh, kill the remaining. But the core is destroyed, and they're just poking at these ones. And let's see, where is the... There we go. They are still going towards our normal here. It's a long run. And I wonder if they're still replenishing. 
Let's just look at this. So, 3,014. 3, Do we still replenish? I want to see if they go up again, or maybe they don't go up until these have been killed. In the meantime, we're just cowing through the rest of this, and uh, it's actually using a lot more power than I had anticipated. Uh, maybe it's because 12 times... Uh, 12... Well, uh, 4 times 12 of these are just too much for us to handle. And this is still the center of the hive that doesn't exist anymore. Well, I mean, there's barely anything left. We will definitely be taking this one out. There you go. And there's still a fortress here. Or whatever it is. And maybe we can even kill it and go back to save it. Eh, not much left here. Ah, uh, problem is when I um, don't have any any more energy left, then they just don't know what to do. Then they'll actually stop attacking. So I guess we can do something like this and then just only have two of them attacking. And we should see we say up top left hand corner there's 70 for each. But that's gonna go down pretty damn quickly once they uh, they start attacking. Okay, now we only have one unit that's actually flying. Or that's actually engaging a little bit. How much do we have left of the hive? That is really not... This is technically still the Alpha Hive here. But there's only like a few things left. And they're still at 70. Huh. And... Maybe we just send all of them out. Just use the last bit of, uh, of power we have to kill the rest of them. Come on. Go, go, go. Oh, wait. Are we shooting? Weird. And Hive should be gone now. It's still there. Hmm. There's nothing left of the hive. Why is it still there then? I wonder if that thing is... Is that seriously sending a, a relay station out? Yeah, it's sending a relay station out. Can I not intercept it? I'll try to intercept the relay station. Okay, and all the vessels are gone. There's a... Something going there. Huh. That's interesting. We still have the the hive is still there, and no, no more vessel, no more, no more of anything. Why is the hive still around? Um, as far as I recall, then if the if if they still have relay stations, then they're not completely destroyed. So we'll go here and see if there's a relay station, and if that's the case, then that might be the last thing that's available. We landed here on this planet. There's nothing on this planet, so we have to go to Glumenraged instead. Nothing on this planet either. So for some reason, the core being destroyed is not enough for us to actually uh, get it to to remove. Usually, that's enough. If you kill the kill all the buildings in space, then it disappears. But maybe we missed a little building there somewhere. So we have to go out and look for it in orbit, uh, in space. There is a microscopic amount of space debris out here, if you can see that. There. That's the one. That is what is left. And once that's destroyed... What is that, actually? Relay station. Oh, it's all the relay stations. Kill the relay stations. Oh, no, 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 not like this. Not like this. But, uh, Z there and that one. Kill relay stations. There we go. Now they kill relay stations. So as long as there are relay stations left, they will be coming in. And we can see we almost got the other ones to attack by killing relay stations. Ah, that's such a shame. But now we have only two hives remaining in uh, this area. That's perfect. So... Uh, we can do the same thing with the other ones, and then we can clear out the, everything. So if we look at it, it's 1511, 1472, so they are starving now. That means we can actually engage, but, you know, it's the same procedure as last year, so no need to repeat that. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you can take some, uh, some advice on how to clean out these hives as efficiently as possible in, uh, in your own game. And if you want to take this out, then... Switch back to this configuration and then just engage again.